I see a lot of people complaining of chronic pain, and that takes a lot of takes shape in a lot of different ways. You know, one of the most common is knee pain. You know, or ankle, hips, shoulder. You know, it just seems as we get a little older, we've been really active. Whether it's enjoying skiing, hiking, you know, racket sports, we see a common variety of sports medicine injuries that just, you know, initially they're maybe acute injuries, wear and tear. We got better. We didn't think about it, but there's something called cumulative trauma and over micro trauma to the joints ligaments, to the tendons, let's say of the rotator cuff, just from how we sleep at night, from impingement, how we sleep with that arm up over our shoulder, it pinches those tendons under the, the bony roof of the shoulder joint, if you will. And so, so I see it in a lot of different ways. There's virtually nothing that can't be helped with regenerative medicine. You know, whether we're talking about your own platelet-rich plasma, whether we're talking about using your own autologous stem cells, you know, there's many different techniques to do that depending on the need and the severity. And oftentimes if it's mild to moderate, you know, it's troublesome and bothers someone, you know, I, I love to start with PRP, with your platelet-rich plasma. You know, it takes us about 20 minutes to you know, draw the blood, spin it, separate the growth factors, that PRP, to be able to utilize in a joint injection, ligament, uh, along with tendons of, let's say, the rotator cuff, but we see, you know, certainly wrist, tendonitis, tenosynovitis, inflammation of the joint capsule as well. You know, if you've played much tennis, you've had tennis elbow, you've had inflammation of the attachment of those ligaments on the, let's say the lateral aspect, the lateral side of, of your elbow. And once the inflammation's there, it can be very stubborn and something that can certainly keep you from participating at any level, really, because pain is not fun, you know, and we have a little common sense that so we know <laughs> hurts, we probably shouldn't be playing golf, but guess what? It's Thursday afternoon, my men's league's up and I'm going to play golf today. And so we try elastic bands, we do all kinds of things. And oftentimes the condition only gets worse. And so the exciting thing is that with whatever regenerative technique we choose, the results are pretty substantial, you know, in a very short period of time. We see the inflammation subside. The body wants to heal those tissues. It's already trying to send neural stem cells there. So whether we initiate the process using platelet-rich plasma, trying to recruit more of your own stem cells or harvesting stem cells to put into a specific area, then that really takes, I call it PRP on steroids. You know, when we use stem cells, it's a whole nother level of acceleration of healing, uh, stimulating growth factors to cause cartilage growth, let's say, or tendon or ligament healing. It is a very significant intervention that produces many times long lasting results. So when we're using your body's healing mechanisms, the platelet rich plasma PRP, or your own stem cells, autologous stem cells. The differences are pretty major, you know, and let's just say in your blood, there's a little more than this, but roughly a dozen really good growth factors. And we can isolate those in a concentrated formula from the plasma, from what we call the buffy coat layer, where after a double, what's called a double spin with that blood and plasma, we can then separate that out and use it for injection. It works very well. But with stem cells, you know, as I said, BRP on steroids, you have hundreds of growth factors, messenger RNA, actual stem cells that contain these tiny nanoparticles you may have heard of exosomes. 
Well, exosomes are derived from stem cells, bilirubin fluid, amniotic fluid, several sources. And when we inject a joint, let's say, with your own stem cells, a large number of those stem cells attach to the cartilage surface, to the ligament tendon and start the healing process, replicating those cells, growing new cartilage. Some rupture right away. Well, we don't like to say they die. So we say they rupture. What does that mean? They die. They, they die right away. Well, what happens? They release their contents. What are those? Exosomes, the tiny nanoparticles of exosomes, hundreds of growth factors, messenger RNA, things that compounds that stimulate healing. You know, if your body could get all of your own stem cells and their included nanoparticles, their exosomes, into your joint, into an area that has had chronic trauma, tearing, degenerative changes over time, we would heal like a salamander. You'd grow a new tail. You'd grow new cartilage. But the blood flow to those areas is not good. It's poor, in fact. And so when we can isolate the stem cells and put them directly into an area that needs repair, the results are spectacular. You know, it is very impressive. We see 80 to 90 percent pain relief on average by anywhere from a few weeks to several months. You know, the process continues of healing when using stem cells for at least six months, and in some instances up to a year. So it is very exciting that that we're able to find an intervention using your own cells to help heal those tissues and almost across the board see a good result. Most of the time, it's one and done. You know, it all depends on what the expectation is and how much pain someone has. For me, I had a very painful condition, a degenerative issue with my knee, my right patella, that I had a skiing injury years ago in college ski racing. And when I moved to Colorado in 2010, skiing with my boys, it hurt afterwards. Walking around in my ski booths, you know, it was not fun. And I had one injection of my own stem cells. And I did actually, I did a second injection around six months later. At, at six months, my pain was 90% gone. It was 90% better. But I wasn't going to be happy unless it was zero. Like I can move here to not ski or hurt when I walk around in my ski boots. I want another one. And so, okay. So I did it. And, and that was 12 years ago. It's never bothered me since. And so, you know, it really is exciting to be able to offer this kind of therapy to, to people and really feel confident that um, doing something that is going to make a significant improvement in the quality of their life, you know, over time with months and years to come. So, you know, people ask me all the time, and you may be thinking, am I a candidate for this? Well, it's real simple. We just need to schedule a visit, either in person in Denver or in Aspen or via telemedicine. And I would say, have any studies been done? Have you had an x-ray? Have you had an MRI? And if not, great, let's get one and find out specifically, you know, where, where the damage is, what the severity level looks like, and then come up with a plan. Maybe it's just simply PRP, which is certainly a cost-effective way to do this. Consider it's all cost effective to you if you consider the big picture and what happens if I don't treat this over a long enough period of time, you get a joint replacement, you know, and although that can be highly effective and there's many great surgeons that I refer to that you probably would know you may ski with or play golf with, but not everybody's ready for a joint replacement. The first time they make a decision to try and do something about their joint pain. So, you know, the easiest thing to do, if you have questions and I can help you in any way, click on the link below. Let's schedule a telemedicine visit. If you have studies done, my staff will ask you and you can email them to us so that I have an opportunity to review that in advance. And if not, I'll order. We'll get it done and we'll see, you know, what can be done to help this and, you know, just how far do I have to go? I'm not going to be happy 
unless I have, don't have pain and I can get back to tennis or golf or, you know, whatever your sport may be and your passion, um, because, you know, it's very treatable and we have seen great success with that. So I'd encourage you to at least reach out and try to find out what does this mean for me?